As a public figure and a practicing cardiologist, Dr. Mehmet Oz has an incredibly busy life. Welcome, everybody. He flew to Sacramento this month for this appearance at the Roseville Galleria straight from Vietnam and didn't miss a beat. I'm going to walk you through a couple insights. He says there's one thing he does every day that makes it possible to race through time zones and a hectic schedule. I wouldn't be standing here, sitting here, talking to you about my opinions if it wasn't for meditation. For years, Dr. Oz has carved out about 20 minutes each morning to just sit quietly. So when I meditate, I take myself out of the minute-to-minute -minute grind the tactical steps that I'm trying to plan out for my day, and I allow my mind to be free. I'm not trying to think about anything in particular. I'm relaxing my mind so it can be malleable, flexible, and take whatever needs to be addressed to heart and start to figure out solutions. There's a growing body of evidence suggesting meditation and mindfulness may help some people with anxiety, depression, and pain. And there's a long list of other benefits for anyone. You'll make the other 23 and a half hours that much more efficient in your life. You'll sleep better, feel better, behave better, build stronger relationships, and live a longer life. And while the stereotype is sitting quietly like this for an extended period, the reality is that people can do it anywhere with whatever time they have. There's a lot of different ways that people can practice meditation or mindfulness, but the kind of common thread is that it's, it's really being present in the moment that you're in and refraining from reflexive kind of thinking that has to do with judgments about yourself or other people. At UC Berkeley's Greater Good Science Center, researchers track the science backing that practice. They have found benefits in walking outside and shifting your focus from your own thoughts to really tuning in to the sights and sounds around you. You can do it anywhere, even stuck in traffic. The amazing thing about meditation is it's actually been demonstrated by physicians, by doctors, to be effective in your health. It's not just a nice thing to imagine is true. It's been looked at in things like psoriasis, which is a, an eczema, which are skin rashes that are hard to treat and we have to use pretty powerful medications sometimes to manage them, while well, meditation has been demonstrated to reduce the incidence of these problems. People who practice more mindfulness have more cellular density and structures of their brain that are involved in um, encoding memory. So they're better at remembering and forming memories. So if this ancient practice works so well and is something anyone can do, what's the catch? Well, scientists have studied that too. A lot of these exercises that support your capacity for mindfulness, for, for high quality relationships, for happiness in life, they do require effort. It's, what I like to say is that um, it's simple but not necessarily easy. And just let yourself go for five minutes. Just do that little test. And you'll see that after a few minutes of discomfort, because it's not easy to sit by yourself when you've got so many things you've got to do, you'll begin to feel calmness inside of you.